assignments just two weeks into her first term. This morning, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene officially stripped of her committee assignments after Republican Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy refused to take action. Democrats took matters into their own hands with a vote, arguing Green must be held accountable for her past comments endorsing conspiracy theories. Here she is, armed with a deadly assault rifle, pointing it towards three Democratic members. Democratic leader Steny Hoyer holding up one of Green's previous Facebook posts to make that point. I asked my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, when they take this vote, imagine your faces on this poster. Imagine it's a Democrat with the <coughs> 15. Ahead of the vote, Green took to the House floor with a word and free speech on her mask. This is the word of the past. And these things do not represent me. They do not represent my district. And they do not represent my values. Green expressing regret for her past remarks, including this one, speculating that a plane never flew into the Pentagon on 9-11. It's so, uh, odd. There's never any evidence shown for a plane in the Pentagon. The green. You stupid bitch. I was there. Yeah, it wasn't blue and then you dumb motherfucker. What the hell are you doing up there for? And you talking about there was no 9 11 motherfucker? You better kiss my ass. I'm in service members. I lost in that day. Yeah, get her out of here. Get the bitch out of here. Dumb motherfucking bitch. The resolution is adopted. Announcing the result of the vote, Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, who represents Newtown, Connecticut, scene of the Sandy Hook school shooting. I vote as an act of conscience in defense of my district. I vote for the babies who left for school eight years ago and never returned home and the teachers who died trying to protect them. Green once questioned whether that shooting and others were staged. But yesterday, she said this. You see, school shootings are absolutely real. 11 Republicans to join Democrats in voting yes to kick Green off her committees. A no vote coming from Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who said, quote, Speaker Pelosi and the Democrat majority have no business determining which Republicans sit on committees. Right. Cheney just recently held on to her leadership position after coming under fire for voting to impeach former President Donald Trump. And now another Republican critical of Trump is defending his stance. Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska slamming Republicans in his state for trying to censure him. We're going to have to choose between conservatism and madness, between just trolling versus actually persuading the That's rising right. generation of Americans. They told the hell out of Donald Trump to censure Leave the man alone. God damn, he gave you a stem stick, bitch. That committee ban only for this session of Congress faith. Thank you. Another dramatic moment on Capitol Hill, this time in the Senate, where Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown demanded that Rand Paul wear a mask. Take a listen. Reserving the right to object, I would like to ask Senator Paul in front of everybody to start wearing a mask on the Senate floor, like the entire staff does all the time particularly the staff that I appreciate now, the presiding officer wearing a mask, but I wish Senator Paul would show the respect to his colleagues to wear a mask when he's on the Senate floor walking around and speaking. Senator Paul remained maskless. A major development in the race to vaccinate America. The FDA is set to review a third vaccine, this one from Johnson & Johnson. Fewer than 28 million Americans have received a COVID vaccine so far. This new shot could speed up the process. This morning, America is on the verge of getting a third vaccine to fight COVID. Johnson & Johnson is now seeking emergency use authorization for its shot, known to be 100% effective at preventing hospitalizations and deaths. In the critical area of keeping people out of the hospital and making sure they don't die, it did very, very well. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is also easier to handle than current vaccines available. It can be stored at regular refrigerator temperatures and requires only one shot instead of two. The FDA says outside experts will review the vaccine February 26th. It will likely be available in March, according to Dr. Anthony Fauci. That'll be yet again another good vaccine in the armamentarium of our, of our tools to fight this pandemic. A third vaccine can't come soon enough. In Pennsylvania, the Allegheny County Health Department opened a hotline to schedule appointments and reported 15,000 calls 
per second. And the Bronx is opening day at Yankee Stadium for vaccines. The state hopes to vaccinate 15,000 people at the site in the first week. For tomorrow, Friday, our appointment is fully booked. And for Saturday, we're running out of time. At a senior center near the stadium, the nonprofit Bronx Rising Initiative is working to reach low-income communities of color. Right now, there's a platform online for people to sign up, but a lot of our seniors have not only access to technology, don't even know how to use technology. Uh, so there's a huge population that is not getting these vaccines. Volunteers are knocking on doors at public housing complexes and calling to register seniors for their shots. And what do you think about when they call you to say, come to us to get to the vaccine? Oh, yes. So I was so excited. Yes, I was very happy. Everything's going smooth and got my shot. And I'm happy. In the meantime, more school districts are looking into whether they can make summer school mandatory as more students fall behind because of the pandemic. Virginia's governor is expected to announce his support to extend the school year through summer. And Atlanta public schools are considering a summer school requirement, one official calling the drop in student performance the COVID-19 slide. But many parents oppose the idea. My children have, you know, conveyed to me how difficult it is to get up and, you know, get to class on time and then you have technological issues. I think these kids need a break. Even though COVID infections are dropping, there's concern about new mutations. The White House is now considering a plan to mail every American a mask. A police officer in New Mexico has been shot and killed during a routine traffic stop. The suspect in a white truck then fled the scene. Police say after a 40-mile chase, he opened fire, wounding another officer who did survive. The chief of New Mexico State Police spoke about the 28-year-old officer who lost his life. I love each and one of our officers that go out there every day. Officer Darian Jerry went out there today and was serving his state, his community, uh, the best way he knew how. And um, I love him for that. And everyone that's here loves him for that. Officer Jarrett leaves behind a wife and three children with a fourth on the way. The suspect, who had a long criminal history, was fatally shot. Tragic. Now to the weather and some extreme conditions across the country. Parts of the Midwest are bracing for wind chills of 50 below zero. Here's ABC's Andrea Fajigi. This morning, extreme weather causing dangerous and deadly conditions across the country. Blizzard conditions in Iowa Thursday triggering this 40-car pileup on Interstate 80. In Wisconsin, 66 fishermen had to be rescued after the ice in Green Bay broke off from shore and traveled more than 1,000 feet in rough water. The Coast Guard pulling the group to safety during a four-hour rescue effort. I'm not seeing where ah. he's got a split going to the west in that north-south region. And there must be just a super strong current today. I've never seen that. In New Jersey, a two-year-old girl and her mother fell through the ice in the Passaic River. Their rescue caught on video. I couldn't sit still and do nothing. Authorities say the pair tried to walk across and the ice cracked. They were reportedly in the water for up to 45 minutes before the police chief spotted them. A gentleman from the gas station had a red kayak there. I grabbed it, I jumped in it, and I just basically clawed my way to the center in the kayak and, uh, and I was able to get to them. The girls' core temperature had dropped to the mid-80s by the time they were rushed to the hospital. Also in New Jersey, this close call on the highway, a sheet of snow flying off an 18-wheeler into this truck driver's windshield. Smash my truck, smash the windshield. I had a bunch of glass flying my face. I almost lost control. And in the West this morning, avalanche warnings in effect. Seven people have died in snow slides in Colorado and Alaska this week alone. One factor? A record number of skiers trying to avoid COVID restrictions at resorts are heading into the backcountry, areas where avalanche mitigation is non-existent. Andrea Fuji, ABC News. Andrea, thank you. Let's take a closer look now at your Friday forecast. The storm that hit the Midwest heads to the East Coast this morning, bringing snow to parts of New England and rain further south. It's being followed by a major cold blast in the Midwest. Wind chills on Sunday will be well below zero. And we're watching a potential storm along the East Coast for Super Bowl Sunday. Forecasters say the exact track will determine snowfall totals. So stay tuned for the weekend. As for today's temperatures, 40s in the Northeast, 50s across the South, 70s in the Southwest.
Coming up, the new investigation into toxic metals found in baby food. Also ahead, the dramatic robbery caught on camera, a luxury handbag store, the disturbing trend police are seeing. And up next, the battle over government stimulus checks. Who should get them? New details on the COVID relief plan. We will guide you through it all tonight. We have made it through another week together. To all our patients, how much they love to hold their hands. David, we're showing our love and support for all the ICU staff. They're the heroes in this. Now, when it matters most, the straightforward facts. ABC News is America's number one news. Number one in the morning. Number one in the With America's most watched newscast. Number one in late night versus the competition. The number one news magazine on Friday nights. Number one in politics across this historic election versus the competition. The number one daytime talk show. And number one in screaming news. ABC News is America's number one news. Admit it. These days, what you need to know seems to change just about every day. What is it that you really want to know? Need to know. To help you not just get through your day, but to make the most of it. Feel smarter. Feel better. Feel happier. Well, how about a third hour of Good Morning America in the afternoon? GMA3. What you need to know. Lunchtime at 1 Eastern, 12 Central and Pacific on ABC. It's all about you. <laughs> Reality is our country can collapse from within. You see the white power movement on the march. Claims that the Nazis, skinheads, it's meant to incite war. From the KKK to Oklahoma City to Charlottesville, the new documentary event special. We just need to start talking about race, home, growth, the war among us. This is a real wake up call. Streaming now on ABC News 5. The world may feel out of your control, but your happiness doesn't have to be. Learn the secrets to happiness. Listen to the 10% Happier podcast free on Apple Podcasts. Back now with a police dog helping to end an hour-long standoff in Southern California. The canine took down the suspect after he ran from his car when police shot pepper spray into the vehicle. He was wanted for violating a restraining order. President Biden is meeting with House Democrats today to fine-tune his COVID relief plan. Biden has said he won't back down from his plan to send $1,400 stimulus checks to most Americans. But Republicans and some Democrats want to limit who gets those checks to people making less than $75,000 a year. Attention parents with babies. A new study finds dangerously high levels of toxic heavy metals in several brands of baby food. Investigators found the ingredients were contaminated with arsenic, lead, and other materials which can affect brain development. Experts say parents can protect babies by not feeding them infant rice cereal or any product made with rice flour. A brazen robbery caught on camera at this high-end store in New York City. The robbers burst into a Chanel store grabbing $160,000 in handbags and wallets. A guard warned them she was armed, but that didn't stop them. Police say the pandemic has made criminals bolder. These criminals are capitalizing off of wearing their these face masks, so it's extremely difficult for us to identify who these individuals are. Police believe the group is responsible for 20 recent robberies. Actor Chadwick Boseman has made history months after his death from colon cancer. He's the first actor to receive four SAG Award nominations in the same year. He was recognized for his work in The Five Bloods and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Coming up, Tom Brady takes a beating on Kimmel. Also ahead, what we're learning about the Super Bowl halftime show. It's coming up next. Admit it. These days, what you need to know seems to change just about every day. What is it that you really want to know? Need to know. To help you not just get through your day, but to make the most of it. Feel smarter. Feel better. Feel happier. Well, how about a third hour of Good Morning America in the afternoon? GMA 3, what you need to know. Lunchtime at 1 Eastern, 12 Central and Pacific on ABC. It's all about you. We will guide you through it all tonight. We have made it through another week together. To all our patients, 
showing our love to hold their hands. David, we're showing our love and support for all the ICU staff. They're the heroes in this. Now, when it matters most, the straightforward facts. ABC News is America's number one news. Number one in the morning. Number one in the evening. With America's most watched newscast. Number one in late night versus the competition. The number one news magazine on Friday nights. Number one in politics across this historic election versus the competition. The number one daytime talk show. And number one in streaming news. ABC News is America's number one news. Now, when it matters most, the straightforward facts. ABC News is America's number one news. Number one in the morning. Number one in the evening. With America's most watched newscast. Number one in late night versus the competition. The number one news magazine on Friday nights. Number one in politics across this historic election versus the competition. The number one <laughs> talk show. And number one in streaming news. ABC News is America's number one news. What kind of music do you want to make this record? I'm moving things forward for myself. You need me, Ray. Do go get your respect. Times more biotin. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. My pillow is getting new competition. Gun control activist David Hogg says he's launching his own pillow business. Hogg says he hopes to put Mike Lindell, a Trump supporter, out of business. Lindell has not commented. And now to Super Bowl 55 from the COVID protocols to half time will be unlike any other Super Sunday. Here's Will Gans. Welcome to your Super Bowl 55 crash course. First things first, if you didn't get invited to a party, it's not just you. We want our fans to be safe. Uh, they need to be smart. Um, they need to wear their PPE. They need to be gathering in small groups. We're all going to enjoy the Super Bowl a little different this year. In fact, 72% of Americans say they are unlikely to host or attend a Super Bowl party this year. Watch the Super Bowl on TV in your house, as difficult as that is, at least this time around. Just lay low and cool it. Tom Brady is headed back to the big game for the 10th time this year, but it's his first time with Tampa Bay. You no, know, it's been, been a lot of preparation. This whole time has been uh, really hardcore prep, and now we ultimately have to be confident what we're doing and go out there and get the job done. The 43-year-old won six Super Bowl games with New England, but now Pats fans are feeling wicked weird about their former favorite player maintaining GOAT status with another team. You know, I love Tom, and I hate him, and I love to hate him, and I hate to love him! It's tearing me apart! Meanwhile, the Chiefs are looking to pick up their second championship title in as many years under QB Patrick Mahomes who was in kindergarten when Tom Brady won his first Super Bowl. Super Bowl 55 is being played in Tampa Bay, I mean Tampa Bay, the first time ever that a team will have a home field advantage. And halftime show performer The Weeknd may not ever touch that field at all. Rumor has it he built a stage in the stands. For the safety of the players and um, the workers, we kind of built the stage within the stadium. We're also using the field as well, but we wanted to kind of do something that we've never done before. Peyton Manning is the only starting quarterback who has won a Super Bowl title with two different teams, but that could all change this weekend. Tom Brady takes home his seventh title, this time with Tampa Bay. Kenneth, Mona? All right, thank you. Well, Tom Brady also showing his funny side. Last night on Jimmy Kimmel, he read some mean tweets about himself. Can we be real for a moment? Is there really anyone you'd rather see dropped in a vat of rendered bacon fat? <laughs> <laughs> He's such a good sport about it. He really is. All right, coming up, what s'mores can tell us about the spread of coronavirus. I also had the world's fastest roller coaster. Ooh. Aficionado. Sneaker head. Thank you. Obsession has many names. This is ours, the new Lexus IS. All in on the store today. Experience amazing. It's your Lexus dealer.
Number one news magazine on Friday. Number one in politics across this historic election versus the competition. The number one daytime talk show. And number one in streaming news. ABC News is America's number one news. There's nobody that has not been touched by this pandemic. It's tough right now because, you know, we're struggling. We have serious demand issues. For the first time ever, we have to have each other's backs. I see color. Here we go. Together, and we have to make this work. This job we got. New season, Sunday, February 21st at 9 on National Geographic. <laughs> The most powerful stories of our time, anytime, Nightline. I know what happened, and I'm not guilty. Why the fascination with criminal trials? Figure out what's really out there. He will guide you through it all. We have made it through another week together. To all our patients, we're showing love to hold their hands. David, we're showing our love and support for all the ICU staff. They're the heroes in this. The world may feel out of your control, but your happiness doesn't have to be. Learn the secrets to happiness. Listen to the 10% Happier podcast, free on Apple Podcasts. Time to check the polls. We begin with an Amber Alert test that was horrifying. That's because Chucky was involved. The infamous killer doll was named as a kidnapping suspect in a test email sent by authorities in Texas. Officials are apologizing, calling the email a malfunction. We don't want to find him. Next, a surging demand for s'mores. More people are roasting them during quarantine. In fact, sales for the ingredients, chocolate, graham crackers, and marshmallows have gone up so much. At first, she started tracking the chocolate sales based on her coronavirus. Rates were reported. Demand went up whenever cases were rising. Next, if you thrive on the need for speed, listen up. What's touted as the fastest roller coaster in the world is under construction in Saudi Arabia. The Falcon's flight will reach heart stopping speeds of 155 miles an hour. The ride will travel two and a half miles of track for three minutes. Ooh, and finally, looking for a hobby to get your heart pumping? Check this out. It's speed flying. It combines paragliding and parachuting after leaping off a mountain. The extreme sport started in France and is catching on. But I can't figure out, is the video vertical or horizontal? Do you want a roller coaster ride or this? Can I just have s'mores instead? If it's catching on, it's not catching on with Camo and Moco. <laughs> Admit it. These days, what you need to know seems to change just about every day. To help you not just get through your day, but to make the most of it. Feel smarter. Feel better. Feel happier. Well, how about a third hour of Good Morning America in the afternoon? GMA3. What you need to know. Lunchtime.